In this video, we are going to create uh, entity framework mappings for a table um, or a bunch of tables uh, for an existing database. Let's say we have already created the tables uh, with the parent child relationships and everything uh, in a relational database. And we just want to create uh, the entity framework mappings, uh, all the class files for it uh, on the fly. So there is a tool uh, which is the entity data model wizard that we can choose, um, we, that we can use to create these models on the fly. Uh, we wouldn't, won't be writing a single line of code here. Um, you, you will see that in this demo. So this is Visual Studio 2013. Uh, and we go to file new project and we start with a class library uh, type of project uh, there is a class one dot uh, cs file it's an empty class file so we we'll just delete that and now uh, we are ready to create the mappings uh, for my tables uh, what we do is we go to class library, we go to the project and right click on it and say add new item and we select adio.net entity data model. We hit add and since we already, we want to generate from an existing database, we use the first um, item on the list. We hit next. Now it's time to connect to my database. I have a local instance running a SQL Ex Express instance running so I'll just put in the details of that here I'll use Windows authentication and then it loads the list of databases I select the database I want testing the connection it says everything is okay so we are ready now um, as you can see this is the connection string that is automatically generated for this database. We hit next and now it gives me a choice of existing entity framework versions. Uh, notice that I didn't create that um, reference to entity framework uh, when I created this project. So this wizard will also take care of creating that reference. So when I hit next, it gives me the tables that are in this database. I'll select everything except for one table and we are ready to create the class files there you go the references are up here the right references are already created the model you can see the model um, of all the tables with the relationships uh, in place and um, using T4 templates we see the POCOs created this is an airline class with uh, flight legs being child objects so everything is uh, ready to go so without just writing even a single line of code, we have managed to create the POCOs uh, from an existing database. So this is a good starting point to now go ahead and create a um, database context um, for each of these POCOs and then uh, maybe use a WCF service uh, to uh, uh, do the CRUD operations on these uh, database objects.